So there's different expressions of the absolute. There's different expressions. Everybody looks different. They have different characteristics and likes and dislikes and path and destiny, the way we live. And the same thing is with the, the guides and angels. They have different flavor to them. Just like there's different flavors of human beings. So, and yes, you do have your guides and angels, but they're all part of the oneness. There's no, they're not separated. Your, your angel and guides are not separated from mine. My, my guides are not better than yours. It's all a part of the same oneness. Because at the end of the day, God is the only thing that there is. Consciousness is the only thing that there is. We don't have to separate, separate consciousness. We don't have two separated gods. It's only one. The flavors and expressions are different. It's like you go to an ice cream shop. You go to Baskin Robbins, so there's supposedly 31 flavors, right? So you can have two scoops of ice cream, you can have chocolate ice cream, you can have vanilla, you can have strawberry, you can have it on a cone, or you can have it in a container. But you can have a lot of ice cream, you have, have a little bit of ice cream. You can have some toppings on it, you can put some chocolate on it. You can, you know, you can put strawberries or flakes of whatever um, nuts or whatever on your ice cream. But at the end of the day, the ice cream is the ice cream. It doesn't matter what flavor of ice cream you're going to eat. Ice cream is ice cream. You're still eating an ice cream. Does it make sense? No, they can make ice cream with dairy or they can make ice cream with almond milk or oat milk, non, you know, non-dairy kind of a milk. You know, these days we have vegan ice cream, but it's still ice cream. You're still eating an ice cream. An ice cream is an ice cream. No matter what shape, color, flavor you put into it, or whether you're using milk or not, or less sugar or more sugar, it's still ice cream. You understand? Does this make sense? All so do you think... Go ahead. Oh, sir. Yeah, so yeah. I love this topic, by the way, of um, angels and higher self. So do you think that these some of the people you're talking about in the spiritual community that do get trapped in that ego trip of my angels and my guides, and you can see by the way that they're carrying self and speaking about it, that perhaps their consciousness is just having that very first breakthrough of communication of they discover something, I don't want to say outside their selves, but they have that first awareness. And so they forget, it's not my angels and my guides, our angels, our guides, because it's all part of the one, just kind of like how people may be Christian or people discover just Jesus. They're not aware of all the company of heaven, all the ascended masters, that Jesus is just one of the many facets of the ascended masters of God, right? So it's kind of like in their excitement, they get confused. And that's where they get on that trip of, of my guides, my angels, because 
they're discovering their own connection with it for the first time. So it gets maybe like over personalized. Is that what's going on there? Is this Rachel? Yeah. Hi. Yeah, hi. Hi, Rachel. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, that that is part of it. But the, the other part of it is we go back to the ancient teachings of Advaita Vedanta, which today's come to the 5D quantum awareness, is that it's still, they, it's a personalized, it's a me. The problem comes with me. So we'll go back to the very basics. As long as there is a notion of me, there is a feeling that there is a me separated from everything else, then these are my guides. But when the me begins to disappear, when I start to re realize that there is no me separated, then also the guides. I can no longer claim it as mine. So, yes, what you're saying is true and correct, and I agree with it. So a vast majority of humanity whose unspiritual path still is operating in this other level, in this level of separation, Does this make any sense? It does. And I think the problem is, like you said, just even the word my instead of the angels, the guides, just like there's the whales or the birds. It's not my birds. It's all of our birds. We're all on the planet together, right? Same thing. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So when you start the shift happens, you start to recognize that. As you're recognizing it, you're also freeing yourself from even this concept. You know, it's like freeing yourself from this, being caught in this um, spider web, and you're caught in it. And the more you're struggling, the worse it gets. But then as you're, you're somehow able to cut the web and you start to free yourself from even this topic. Because like when you unpersonalize it, what you're saying is you just accept it as everyday truth. So like by, instead of, giving it all this power of my angels and my guides you relax into the truth that that's just a given for everybody and it's always there then it comes be like a more natural part of just the flow of all the miracles and you realize everybody's being guided we're all part of that one it's almost like that energy can flow through me through you through everybody it's almost like just another type of separation to over-personalize it is what you're saying, right? Does that make sense? Absolutely, yes, absolutely. Okay, cool. Because everyone's guided at any yeah. at every given moment in life, everybody's guided by the same one. So, so we're we're not special. What you know? That's that's a. Uh, part of the the ego it's another trap that you don't want to fall into this trap and any moment you think that spiritually maybe you're better or you're higher than someone else obviously you're becoming more aware as a as a unit as a as a being separated appearance of a separation of a person your consciousness is expanding. Obviously, that's very obvious. It appears to be that way. In comparison to your mom, your brother, your friend, your colleagues, 